Doodle do and welcome to another tutorial in web development. This is the sixth part of the series where I show you how to make bouncing balls in the HTML5 canvas tag. So let's carry on where we left off. Uh, right here, actually. So I would promise you this will be by far the most enjoyable tutorial we've had yet. Because now there will be some movement and movement is great. So go da go go down to uh, this to do thing which says apply gravity, and we want to apply the gravity. So it's fairly simple. This dot um, velocity velocity y um, plus equals. So we want to add to the already existing velocity gravity which is one of our global variables times 0 0.1 which is you know the time between each cycle and you know you could make gravity just a uh, tenth or a you you could set like this to the gravity to 0 0.4 instead of 4 but this way we we get it a bit more you know, you can see that it's this formula, like velocity equals acceleration times time. Uh, I've sh I'm sure you've seen this in, s a, in school or in a book or something. And now we want to move the ball. So this dot x plus equals this dot velocity x uh, times zero dot one so this would be uh, the distance is equal to the velocity times the time copy this for the x values velocity x oh sorry the y values and now we should have some movement so let's see refresh and I'm, I'm now going to click and the ball is falling oh yeah and now if I drag you know the when I release now when I release the the ball will have a velocity hopefully so yeah fantastic the velocity is uh, this right here this is what's making the velocity as I'm sure you remember. Fantastic. Now let's make um, the resolve and check collision with the walls. So this is also fairly simple. It's a bunch of if statements. If this dot x, so the ball's position in x, plus its radius, so this dot r is more than canvas dot width then we want to do something so let's let's open uh, paint and, and kind of draw this scenario paint so this would be our canvas and let's see here this dot x plus its radius is more than the width so for example if this is our ball you know, one frame is here, then it's getting shot, and it's here, and the next frame is here. But that's not looking right, does it? It's kind of outside. Uh, so the 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 position x plus the radius is. Uh, is more than the width then we want to do something inside of here we want, now when I think about it the radius might just be the the diameter because that would make more sense because the um, uh, this this distance right here is usually the x but it doesn't really matter, it will work anyways. 
So let's close this. So what do we want to do when it's outside to the right? We want to do this dot x equals canvas dot width. Oops, where where width minus this dot radius. So it will be moved out to the correct you know place. So it's not outside. And we want to reverse the velocity so it's bouncing off the wall. So this dot velocity x. Uh, multiply that like uh, with minus one. So now the the velocity is inversed. It's in the other direction, and we multiply that by this dot b, which was the ball's bounciness. And you know, if we wanted to, we could change this. Uh, Static, you know, 90% bounciness to something like math dot random and yeah, you see where I'm getting at. Um, yeah, but we're just gonna keep this at 90% bounciness. Now we want to make four of these since there's four the four walls. So uh, this dot x minus this dot r is less than zero so if it's out to the left this dot x uh, equals this dot r so let's move right a bit to compensate yeah we wanted a minus between those two. Uh, and now this dot velocity x times equals minus one times this dot b. If this dot y plus this dot r is more than canvas dot height then it's outside the bottom the you know whatever then y this dot y should be equal to canvas dot height minus this dot r so it's compensating and then uh, this dot uh, this dot velocity y times equals minus one times this dot b. Now let's test this. This the ball should be able to, you know, um, fly out of the roof. So let's see. Okay, it's it's bouncing on the on the floor it's not bouncing to the right which is kind of strange and it is bouncing to the left so let's see the right it's this one right here if this dot x plus its radius is more than canvas width then this dot x will be equal canvas dot width minus this dot radius and this dot velocity x times equals minus one times this dot b. Hmm. Oh, it's not radius; it's r. Um. Hmm. Right over here, this dot r. The object's uh, variable for the radius is r. And you see, I put r everywhere else. So, yeah. Let's try this and it's bouncing off the walls and it should be able to escape at the top and it is and it's falling back again hopefully yeah so let's correct that if this dot y minus this dot r is less than zero this dot y equals this dot r and this dot 
velocity y times equals minus 1 times this dot b. Let's shoot a ball. We who it's all working. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be making the arrows, and then I think we're done. So that's great. Uh, see you in the next tutorial, and have a nice day.